as a lot of you guys become more aware, paying attention to ingredients and what you're buying and what you're putting in your home of you and your family members. You guys often ask for lists. Today, as you pay attention, we're gonna go over 13 foods you didn't know were genetically modified. Paying attention has never been more important than it is today. Important information you guys should know before going grocery shopping, coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for starting this off with a like, spreading awareness, keeping people informed. And if you guys find this informative and helpful, please share. This is how we get information to each other. So like I said, you guys always ask for lists, and I found a good list. 13 foods you didn't know were genetically modified, and this has to do with the general consensus with the majority of population. So let's jump right in. As you guys are learning, genetically modified foods are more common than you might think, and often hidden in plain sight. And as you know, as most people or a lot of people paying attention are weary of GMO foods. In their defense, they say this is helping farming in that industry. They say mostly from my research benefits to them not losing their crops, diseases, and other things. Not necessarily to better your health. Just to give you guys an idea, a family harvesting homegrown veggies in 1966 when quality time was free and life was simple. You guys remember that? Thumbs up if you do. Because we've moved to a time where this is what that farmer looked like back when I was a kid. And then this is what farmers look like nowadays. And you've got to wear a hazmat suit to produce all the food that nearly everyone's eating. And then I get in trouble for posting the truth by people like this. Yeah, that's the way it is these days. But this is the one that should have your mind turning and thinking, do I need to pay more attention? So let's real quick go through 13 items that you guys might want to know that have been genetically tweaked and their reasons behind it. And then you guys can do your own research on whether you want to buy that one again. So number one on the list is, of course, most of you know corn. Corn is the king of GMOs. Most of the corn that you eat is genetically modified to resist pests and herbicides affecting a wide range of corn-based products. What's your guys' thought on corn? When I grow corn, have some heirloom seeds that I've gotten from Mexico, and I think it's some of the best corn I've ever had. And I cycle those seeds to keep things in good stock. So I have a good storage stashed away. Maybe some of you guys are preppers and you have a good stash of heirloom seeds. I know I do. We've went over them before. And if you guys don't have some, I'll leave a link down in the description. Today might be a great day to get them because they probably have a Cyber Monday deal. Anyway, you can buy buckets similar to those of heirloom seeds that can be stored for a very long time. And some of you might be thinking, well, why would we do that? Well, I came across this one just this morning. I was like, gosh, people might want to know about that. You see this huge facility going into what I believe is close to the North Pole. It says, this is a vault at the end of the world where all all of the existing seeds on the planet are kept. It is located in Svalbard Archipelago, Norway. Probably butchered that. About 1300 kilometers from the North Pole. Opened in 2008, this is an underground warehouse, is designed to preserve 4.5 million seeds of crop plants from around the world, acting as an insurance against the loss of genetic biodiversity caused by natural disaster, conflict with climate change. So it says, in case the world is ever destroyed, you know where to go. It's a real place, this is funded. So in this crazy world that we live in that's getting kind of worse and worse, one should think, if they're preparing for that kind of stuff, we just might need to pay a little bit more attention, right? Next on the list is soybeans. Soybeans are a major player in GMO world, modified to withstand herbicides. And these things are in everything from tofu to baby formula. Next on the list is canola. I know that one's on a lot of your radars. Canola oil found in countless kitchens comes from GMO canola plants. These are engineered to resist herbicides, making it easier for farmers to grow and harvest. Again, I think fixing one problem to cause another, in my opinion. Remember the photo? Yeah. Next on the list, Papaya. Hawaiian papayas are often genetically modified to resist the ring spot virus. This scientific intervention helps prevent 
crop failure. You gotta remember, they're trying to feed millions and millions of people. So there again comes the term profit over people. Moving right along, I love me some zucchini bread. Zucchini, your favorite summer squash might be genetically modified to fight off pesky viruses including resulting in healthier plants and more reliable harvests. Now for me, and you guys can tell me your experience, I've grown zucchini for a very long time and mine are all heirloom. The one thing I ever have to deal with is those darn squash bugs. Next on the list, sugar beets. Pay attention here. Most of the sugar beets grown in the US are genetically modified for herbicide resistance. Now a significant portion of your table sugar starts its journey as a GMO crop. Remember, sugar is in nearly everything. This one's a big one and I teach this to people when they think that they're getting healthy meat and there's different animals like beef that are supplemented feed especially during winter. Well when you're looking for clean clean beef like we offer you got to remember everything that they're feeding these animals like alfalfa. This livestock feed crop is often genetically modified to tolerate herbicides leading to more robust crops and higher yields. So something to keep in mind the meat if you're wanting it super, super clean when it comes to those, say, cattle that are browsing and getting fed, you gotta ask the right questions. Moving right along, an easy one for people to grow, potatoes. Now I've done videos in the past, taught people how to make potato boxes where they were like two by two by four high and you could grow up to 100 pounds of potatoes in those things. It's a lot of fun growing potatoes, but keep in mind, potatoes. Some potatoes are genetically modified to resist bruising and browning, extending their freshness and reducing food waste. You guys see in the common thread here, they want things to look better. They want things to last longer. They don't want to have to fight any kind of disease, not for your health, but I imagine a little bit more to do with this. Another staple, apples. Certain apples like the Arctic variety are engineered to resist browning after being cut, enhancing their visual appeal and shelf life. They want these things to last months on the shelves. So a lot of times freshness, you can throw that one right out the door. Next on the list, a big one, tomatoes also if you guys haven't grown your own gardens a fun and easy one to grow and this happens to be the first genetically modified food ever sold being the flavor saver tomato designed to have a longer shelf life though it's not on the market anymore other gmo tomatoes are still around first question i'm thinking is why are they no longer on the shelves right anyway if you're not wanting this gmo crap you guys definitely need to pay attention moving right along squash another dinner favorite i personally like throwing it on the barbecue glazed with some butter like zucchini yellow squash can be genetically modified to resist viruses which helps maintain crop health and productivity how's the list shaping up are you guys buying this stuff are you a little bit worried about it not worried at all pay more attention let us know down in the comments because next on the list is eggplant i know this one's not as common to a lot of people some varieties of eggplant have been genetically modified to fend off pests reducing the need for chemical pesticides and enhancing crop resilience. Now I haven't personally bought an eggplant. I used to grow them. I actually really enjoyed fried eggplant if you guys haven't tried that before. Basically you just slice it like a steak. You get about, I don't know, off, off a big one you get seven, maybe seven slices, butter them up, throw them in a frying pan, a little bit of salt, maybe some garlic, super good. Next on the list, a worldwide huge one, rice. Golden rice is genetically modified variety enriched with vitamin A to combat deficiencies in developing countries providing a vital nutrient boost. And maybe it does, but what was the process of genetically modifying that? I don't know, I'd have to look into that one, but I know there's a lot of other great ways to get vitamin A. Please give me your feedback I know you guys like lists. Let me know if you guys like this type of information and let me know, are you worried about GMO? Are you steering clear? I can tell you, I personally do. In our family, we try to keep things as natural as possible. And when I say natural, as natural as God made it. I don't wanna see preservatives. I don't wanna see additives. I don't wanna see toxic ingredients. That's the direction that we've chosen to take. I'll try to find a video where I went over the seed buckets. And if you missed this one, another good video. Be sure to hit the notification bell if you guys like staying up to date. Cause I got a lot more coming down the pipe. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.